Hey guys, what's up? It's Fabio from Noise, and today we're going to be taking a look at preparing your vocals for a mix down, making sure that they're all sitting in line together, sounding fat, and specifically focusing on chorus vocals and how to get them really, really tight. So, how are you guys enjoying these quick tips so far? I know they're not always quick, I know we go into some detail sometimes, but I just like to sit here in the mornings, drink my coffee, run you through something that I've been doing. We are exclusively going to use stock plugins only, so you can see exactly how to do it without having to spend a dime. I might use one or two free plugins, but I promise that will be it. Before we crack on, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's jump right in. So to start with, one of the things you're going to want to do is get rid of the dead space. Any blank parts of the audio which are not being recorded on. You want to be careful when you do this and make sure you do it manually. I know a lot of people use the strip silence parameter in Logic, but it doesn't work a lot of the time and it gets rid of some of those nice endings to the word like the S's and the C's and the K's and so on. So the easy way to do it is just get them all like this and then use the marquee tool over here, hold command and then just roughly cut like so and then what you want to do is add fades now the quick way to add fades is again highlight them all control and shift and then click and drag over the back end and it'll do it to all of them you can even adjust all of them at the same time so you can bend them like so or you can extend them like so Obviously, listen back to the changes that you're making when you're applying the fades, that's really important. And let's just do it to these ones as well here. Now, generally speaking, I always try and get the listener to sing as in time as possible. So when he or she tracks the vocal to whatever vocal we've decided to go with, I make sure that it's as in time as it can be. But obviously, it's not always the case because humans are not robots and it's sometimes difficult to replicate that vocal exactly. So we have to put it in time. Now, you have two options with this. You could use flex time where you could stretch it out a little bit and warp it, or you could just do it manually, which I prefer and I think sounds much, much, much better. Let's have a listen to this vocal and see how out of time it is from word to word. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. Okay, so listen carefully to the because. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. See how the C on because kind of falls in a different place. So let's do a little cut here. And then what we want to do is try and line it up with this because up here. So just use your first recording as your benchmark on where you want to line things up to. And it should work quite nicely. So let's just drag that over a little bit and see how that sounds now. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. Sounds much tighter already. Now I'm just going to add another little fade holding control and shift here. And then just adding two fades there. Let's listen one more time, see if there's nothing at the end that needs clearing up. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. Perfect. I think the end of special could be a little bit tighter, so let's just focus in on that and see which one ends later. It's the bottom one. So the easy way to do this actually would just to be to increase the fade ever so slightly on the bottom one there. Let's have a listen to that now. You're special. You're special. You're special. Bring it in a little bit more. You're special, you're special, you're special. Again, a little bit tighter, minor differences, but when you're playing four vocals together, especially for the chorus, you want them to sound really tight. Well, sometimes you want them to sound really tight anyway. Let's do one more together so I can show you how to process the others. First, of course, it's important to listen. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. So in particular, the second half sounds quite out of time. Let's again make a little incision here, zoom in a little bit, and then let's just line that because up like so and see how it sounds. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. Great, now it's just the first half, it's the C on cutie which isn't lined up with the channel above. So let's zoom in. I'm just going to eyeball this, drag it over. Let's have a listen to that. Hey cutie, give me a love because you know that you're special. 
Funnily enough, it's now the phrase after QT that has become too late. So now we've got to pull that one back a little bit. I think we got lucky on the channel before it was a little easier, whereas this one is proving to be a bit harder. So let's zoom in. And again, let's just drag that over, line that up, use the playhead to figure out where it needs to be. And then all we need to do is just apply some fades. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Sounding pretty perfect to me. Now, once you've cut the vocals, got them in time, they're all sounding super tight, it's time to EQ and compress them individually. Now, I'm gonna shortcut this for the sake of this video ever so slightly, but this is the general approach that I would take. I take one vocal and I process it just with a bit of EQ and a bit of compression. I keep it super, super, super simple at this stage. So let's grab the EQ first and let's work out exactly what it needs. I'm just gonna do it on the fly. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Let's listen to a little bit more of the vocal so you don't get so bored of it. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Let me love you on a higher level. Don't take my love away. Cause I can serve you from an empty vessel I know you're feeling my vibe so we can roll just like a pebble Bunny and Clyde we can run from trouble Give me a cuddle cause I'm into you I'm into you So took out some of the lows Took out quite a few of the kind of low mid mid area And then boosted high mid and highs Here's the before and then the after Hey cutie give me your love because you know that you're special Let me love you on a higher level Don't take my love away Cause I can serve you from an empty vessel I know you're feeling my vibe so we can roll just like a pebble Bunny and Clyde we can run from trouble Give me a cuddle cause I'm into you I'm into you One thing that becomes obvious immediately after boosting the highs is the S's cutting through Now Logic has a brand new de which I've never used before so we're going to do this together uh, Let's go down to Dynamics and then de 2 I don't even know what it looks like Oh, that seems quite simple. Okay, so what kind of filter do we want? We can have a bell or a shelf. Very nice. The amount of reduction, the threshold, and the frequency. Okay, let's use the EQ to roughly work out where that frequency is that we want to take out. So let's use a bell point on the EQ to locate where those harsh frequencies are. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Let me love you on a higher level Don't take my love away Cause I can serve you from an empty vessel Sorry if that's kind of harsh So around 7,600 it says here We can turn that off now Go back to the de -esser. Let's make that nice and big so you guys can see Set the frequency to 7,500 roughly And let's actually turn the filter solo on So we can hear exactly what the de wants to take out Hey cutie, give me your love Because you know that you're special Sounds about right Okay, threshold, let's pull that down Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special Let me love you on a higher level Don't take my love away Cause I can serve you from an empty vessel That's quite nice, although I feel like it's taking out way, way, way too much of the S In fact, if you take out too much, it almost sounds like they don't have any teeth, which is weird So, let's pull the reduction up a little bit We maybe want a maximum of, I would say, 8 decibels Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special Let me love you on a higher level don't take my love away, cause I can serve you from an empty vessel We still want a bit of the sibilance, it's nice, it feels more present But too much is kind of harsh and annoying, especially when you've got four vocals together So we got EQ, DS, and a little bit of compression So let's go to Dynamics, Compressor Um... To be honest guys, just use whichever one you want. I love the Studio FET because it's modeled on an 1176, which is an amazing compressor for vocals. It has a little bit of distortion as well, but a harmonic distortion which just warms it up. You just want it to be a little bit more mm, 
You know what I mean. Now you're more than welcome to copy my settings, auto gain off, auto release off, really, really important that you turn those off guys. Uh, Studio FET, attack at one, release at five, ratio 4.1 to one, and then just go save as default. Save those settings as default because the settings that Logic give you with the compressor when you turn it on are sh Change them, trust me on this one. Let's start by bringing the threshold down and getting an adequate amount of gain reduction. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Now let's come off the attack a little bit and work in the release. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Let me love you on a higher level. Don't take my love away, cause I can serve you from an empty vessel. Now, if you're not sure how to set up a compressor or you're new to compressors, check out my video on compressors debunked. I'll leave a link above. You can click on it right now. Go for it, go for it. Just watch it, watch it. Come back to this video. You can just go back, it's easy. It will help you a little bit understand how and why we use compression. Now, I've got my attack and release settings but the compression is obviously way, way, way too hard. So let's come off the threshold a little bit, but I always like to overdo it so I can hear what's going on. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Let me love you on a higher level. Don't take my love away, cause I can serve you from an empty vessel. I know you're feeling my vibe so we can roll just like a pebble. Bunny and Clyde, we can run from trouble. Give me a cuddle, cause I'm into you. I'm into you. The beauty of the FET is you can actually slam it quite hard and it still sounds quite good. I think I'm gonna come off the attack a little bit more. Again, compressor settings is something that you wanna tweak and play with until it feels right. It's a very dynamic vocal, so I do wanna control it. I do wanna make sure that we don't have too many changes in volume throughout. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bit problematic when we sum them all together. So, I'm happy with my compressor settings, my EQ, and my DS. So let's have a quick listen to the before and after. Hey cutie, give me your love because you know that you're special. Let me love you on a higher level. Don't take my love away, cause I can serve you from an empty vessel. I know you're feeling my vibe so we can roll just like a pebble. Bunny and Clyde, we can run from trouble. Give me a cuddle, cause I'm into you, I'm into you. So you know I love you, but I'm a bit of a tease, I'm a little bit of a tease, and I just want you to work on that. I'm gonna bring you part two, on how to make the chorus vocals bigger in another video. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna film it right now, but I'm gonna release it in a couple of weeks. If you practice this, getting things tight, recording properly, record those stacks, then cut them up, get them really tight, get them sounding really good, apply your EQ, your DSing, and your compression correctly, and I'm gonna see you in two weeks, maybe three, maybe three, I don't know. And we're gonna look at the next stage on how to finish these chorus vocals and make them sound epic. Alright guys, it's a pleasure as always. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in a couple of weeks with part two. Maybe three.